Good morning, everyone. It is my honor to talk to you about St. Thomas and why I am grateful for everything that goes on at St. Thomas. My journey started here as a child. My parents brought us here with a friend, the Balls, at the time. We're going to church here, and they invited us. And the five of us immediately knew this was our new home. We met lots and lots of people, enjoyed many memories as a child, growing up in here and in the parish hall, doing men's club breakfasts, doing EYC, going to Happening, which was a beautiful endeavor, and meeting the Davenports, who, as you all know, amazing people, and what I have as my grandparents. We miss Jack every day. Then I left for college and did not find a church home there. Every time I came home, weekends, summers, whatever it was, I was gonna come to St. Thomas. Missed the opportunity during college to serve, like I did when I was a child with Father Gunn, and have the fun times, but it was always home. Then I stayed in Augusta for 30 years, and when we came home with my children, came home here with my children, it was always such a blessing. My kids to this day, Daddy, are we going to church when they come and visit? And yes, we are. We do it virtually when they visit now, but we do love coming in this building. So through those years of missing St. Thomas, I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to move back home. When I say home, I moved back to Idaho, and I moved back into St. Thomas, where I had the opportunity to marry the most wonderful woman in the world and the most beautiful chapel in the world. As I took notes this week after Melanie asked me to do this, I came across I just all the memories and thankfulness Thank Melanie and Amy, as you all know, indescribably wonderful to us and to my family. What makes me grateful for St. Thomas is sitting in this pew on the days when my whole family's here and we take up two full rows. As I walked in here this morning, I walked up to the garden where my father's at. Great memories with him here. Great honor to stand in the pulpit and do eulogy for him. Great honor for my mother to have worked here for so many years and to call me and go, Chris, you're not gonna believe who died. And me to have the empathetic understanding of what that meant as a family so far away to have that empathy and to have that understanding of what we all mean to each other. I also had the opportunity, like I said before, to go to Happening and meet lots of new people and had the opportunity to go to Curcio and extend my relationships through this family. Peggy, love you with all my heart. The friends, the family, the Oysteros, the men's clubs, cast, all of those wonderful memories of why I'm grateful for St. Thomas, knowing I can come here at any time and be at home. That is why I am grateful for St. Thomas.